I am a sucker for physics. Whenever I see objects that have weight and interact with the environment, it always fills me with deep satisfaction. I remember being mesmerized the first time I played Half-Life 2, spending almost an hour on the train section because I was having too much fun throwing cans at people. It was like a caveman discovering fire for the first time. Then I discovered more physics-driven games like Gary Smart, Portal, Plus Mobile 2, and People Playground, which is basically a life leak simulator. When I was researching for the Plus Mobile 2 video, I stumbled upon a game. A game that I've played in the past as a child. A game so good that I just didn't finish it. So this time, I did. I remember back then thinking it was one of the most impressive and enjoyable Flash games. And many years later, that would seem to be true. The Intrusion series as a whole is one of the most fun experiences, especially the second one. It's always great to see games that challenge the limits of the game engine, like Plasma Burst 2 did, and other games that I generally just can't be fucked to name. If you look deep into my eyes and told me calmly that this game was made on a different game engine that isn't a Dobby Flash player, I will believe you. But the game not looking like a Flash game is not the only appeal of Intrusion. The gameplay is, or the entire game. Uh, y you know what? I, I don't, I don't fucking care. Just listen to me. In 2008, Intrusion was published on Congregate, a site that I'm sure some of you are familiar with if you play Flash games. Intrusion 1 was pretty good in some aspects. Sure, the sequel is worlds above the first, but Intrusion 1 has a certain charm. A certain charm that I can't help but make a comparison to Plasma Burst. Both have similar visuals with how abrupt or stiff some of them can look. There are a total of 5 levels and each of them is pretty long, averaging about 10 to 15 minutes though it can get a bit repetitive like in the first five seconds of the game where you will have like 50 people spawn in the same area before letting you progress or in the second level where the exact same thing happens i'm not a huge fan of enemies endlessly spawning in games as a way to make it seem a bit challenging it reminds me of this scuffed gary's mod saves on steam workshop but i can easily let this aside because the gameplay is honestly not that bad speaking of gameplay you've got guns and you can shoot them amazing i've said it before and i'll say it again games that force you to use every single weapon in your arsenal if done right are very cool because they really make every weapon important and have a purpose that doesn't mean every game has to be like it here every weapon is necessary for you to use against certain types of enemies kind of like doom eternal and the pistol will be the last resort if you will ever run out of ammo but that's also like a basic thing in every game ever the enemies that you have to fight against are challenging especially with their above average ai which is you know a bit impressive for a flash game like shown here where i was fighting outside and you could see enemies enemies appearing from the inside to see what was happening. I've played a lot of flash games and I don't think I've seen many AIs in flash games where it doesn't stop and pause when they hear a gunshot like I'm playing counter strike with easy bots. Aside from the AI, there is physics in this game just not as prevalent as in the sequel. Now, I'm pretty sure you're starting to get sick of this but this is just like Plasma Boys 2 and Half-Life 2. Trust me guys, there are no other games with physics other than Half-Life 2 and the popular children's game Plasma Boys Battle Royale where physics would be more of a focus than the first. That's not to say that the physics have no use whatsoever. The rope physics implemented here is pretty good, way better than the slippery Plasma Boys 2 ropes. No, 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 no. 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 Before you get your pitchforks up, it totally makes sense for the rope to act like it's oiled up with loop because Plasma Breeze 2 gameplay is pretty chaotic, fast and slippery. But the rope in there is also fucking annoying. The level designs in the first half are not that great it can be a bit hard to differentiate the background and doors sometimes because of the visuals and the differences not made clear at certain points like in this part where you have to climb a rope to progress in that section it's not made clear which parts here are actually invisible so guess how many times i've killed myself in this stupid fucking place the enemy placements in the first half were a little repetitive 
but they got better with variety in the second half. Sometimes it can get a bit unforgiving. Maybe because I'm terrible but when I'm trying to climb a rope, this cheeky little cunt shoots me and completely interrupts my rope session. Thankfully, that stupid fucking idiot killed himself. However, in the second half, it starts to get more interesting. The best parts of the other half are the train section with one of the most interesting introductions to a game level and the mecha section. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to fuck up a mecha section in a video game and here it, it's done well like what is expected. Throwing every single type of enemies that were once hard and took a while to get through now takes seconds. After this section, you will get on a missile carrier and soon fight on the missile with the final boss, Plasma Hedgehog. I'm just gonna say Metal Sonic cause if you can't tell, I actually can't uh, pronounce Plasma, Plasma, Fuck off. Metal Sonic is easily the best boss in the entire game, which is pretty expected for it to become a final boss. The first phase is the hedgehog shooting balls at you and eventually just losing sanity. So it will resort to brute force by burning the player and shooting missiles in the second phase. It is the only enemy that is smart enough to not let you get near it easily. You defeat the boss and jump off the missiles, which marks the end of intrusion. In 2012, Intrusion 2 was released and published on Steam. Starting after the previous game, after successfully defeating Metal Sonic, you parachute and land in a new area. From here, we can already see clear improvements. The visuals are much cleaner, it just looks better overall and the gameplay feels more fluid and dynamic compared to the last. This game is also pretty long. There are a total of 9 levels, <coughs> which is not that long but it's also an hour long but then again it's also not that long J just bear with me there are a lot of flaws from the previous game that have been improved such as the enemy not subtly spawning in like a gmod server and the abrupt visuals i was talking about intrusion 2 does not hold back at all like i said earlier it feels more fluid and dynamic sure there are some parts where i think it's a bit unforgiving maybe a little too unforgiving then again i'm fucking dog shit bruh speaking of dog shit the enemies here are definitely not dog shit. They are more challenging, interesting and smarter, even visually. A big step up from Intrusion 1's more traditional approach to sci-fi enemies. Apart from how they look, the AI is definitely better than before. The weapons in this game are not much to expect, not much is an understatement, there's like one or two new weapons. Since the game takes place seconds after the ending of the first game and you know, two weapons I, I don't really mind because there's not much to change anyway since i am a kind and respectable gentleman that is a physics enthusiast i will now talk about the physics in this game and gentlemen let's take a seat yeah everyone knows talking about objects falling down gets you bitches the physics in this are way more prominent most of the ways to progress through the levels are either by physics or destruction there's also some nice white balls that were also in the first game but here it's more prominent but not that prominent because the game drops the snow team like a quarter in the game which is a good choice because i was sick of seeing all the whites uh, okay let me let me rephrase i am talking about the snow i'm talking about snow winter uh the thing the thing that you throw around in in, in these movies the level design in this one is surprisingly great Pack with a lot more action, tons of variety in locations and new mechanics like the wolf. I mean it feels a bit floaty and slippery but it gets neglected in 10 minutes or less so it's fine. And later on you will fight the first boss. When it comes to boss fights in Intrusion 2, it is the highlight of the game. Even if it's the first boss, this shit is already fucking crazy. Grabber shows up by holding the bridge and dropping enemies without your consent. This is a subtle hint that Grabber is a villain. Because of poor architecture, the bridge falls down almost like that funny Five Nights Freddy song. One thing you should know about Grabber is that he's a cheeky little cunt. You fuck up some part of his body and he will throw an Asian mother gesture and throw a tantrum. Sometimes he will even be buried under the rubble. 
bubble. Once you blow all of his body parts, as in an explosion, you feel to degenerate, he will start by smashing the ground. This is another subtle hint that Grabber is trying to kill you. But fucking hell, this bloke is so cheeky that even in death, it's still a little cheeky bastard. Makes me want to beat the shit out of him, but I don't need to. Because right now, we are sliding or skiing on a part of his forehead. This right here is why the game picks up. After a tad bit of a slow start, it's like 5 minutes. How is that slow? I don't, don't question me. It starts to pick up by being more intense and it will only go up from here. There are also puzzles like throwing objects into water to progress. But unfortunately, that's the most complex the puzzles can go. You throw something so you can climb and go on the rest of your day. I wish the puzzles were more puzzles than just pushing objects. I think maybe having puzzles that got you hmm would be a great addition to the gameplay to spice it up a little. After that section, you fight the second boss which is a duo of some kind. You're probably wondering, is this game about schizophrenia? Or maybe ha having a bad trip? Because where the fuck is this Shut the person? fuck up, it's because the gun. The it's the gun. Right, okay. The, the gun is sentient and it's called Dan. I missed this the first time playing it but the gun also has a face. How, how cute, huh? Yeah, very, very cute. Speaking of cute, this, uh, these motherfuckers are not cute. To say that these chaps are challenging is such a huge understatement. And I didn't die multiple times when I was fighting this piece of shit. You fight more mechas and eventually fight a new enemy, the machine crawler. It looks threatening and has crazy moves. But is he hard? As in difficulty? No, no. But still, it's fun to fight them because he throws himself everywhere like a fucking idiot. Eventually, you get to fight more varied mechs like the grapple and the melee max. You also get to be in a mecha for a lot of times. My favorite is the grappling hook mecha because that's the most fun one. I love hanging myself. Now that's out of the way, it's time we talk about the peak of this game. The final boss. I've played a lot of games with crazy ass final boss fights and this game is up there. Maze, which stands for subscribe to Fractional Void, is easily the best part of the game, having 6 phases and overall just an insane boss. In the first phase you walk through a corridor only for it to be banned by Maze and it seems a bit simple here, laser and finger guns seems easy right? Well it would be if not for the annoying ass boxes flying around blowing your cover and in return you gain damage. After all that you go to the main part of the building only for it to be torn out like Lego and Maze shaking the building like a child shaking their Christmas present to figure out what it is. Is it a, a happy family? The second phase is where it all starts to get harder. You're now face to face or, or chest to entire body. This part is unpredictable because the attacks are randomized. This means that he will start with any of the attacks which have a Russian roulette equivalent by dumping an easy enemy or a medium enemy hitting a huge fire orb that breaks apart and spreads all out omega flowy type beat. Okay I'm not going to list more. Then the third phase is when he retreats far away to show his bodybuilding progress. This bloke is a french fry. My apologies for the harsh language, gentlemen. We should not let his thin ass torso distract us from the greatest part of the game. He shoots rockets and lasers. I see this phase as some sort of a break for both the player and the boss to catch some breath uh, while trying to deflect missiles and making sure the platform stays up so it won't disintegrate. This is exactly how normal people catch their breaths. And finally, after many deaths, he's defeated. This is easily the best part of the game and one of the highlights. It's intense, hard, chaotic and chaotic. If you're still not sold on Maze being the best part, this dude's head is in a Terraria mod. And I'm pretty sure Moonlight from Terraria took inspiration from Maze because there are quite a few similarities. After his defeat, the intrusion guy gets on his ship and flies away. You're probably wondering, Void, why haven't you talked about the plot? So, I have a question for you. What what plot? What what the fuck are you babbling about? If you're going here to expect a thought-provoking, philosophical, in-depth plot that is an eight-hour documentary to explain what the story is all about, you wouldn't find it here. At best, the story is as complex as a Rubik's cube, but uh, the, the the cube is isn't there.
there needs to be more games that are just plain fun. Not all games need to be deep or take 5 years for a niche reddit forum to figure out the plot of the game and I'm not saying those games are bad I live on Mori uh, that game isn't that complex I mean it is complex but okay forget it forget it I'm a huge fan of that game but I also live Terrapang 2 a game with a plot that is kinda mid but the gameplay makes up for it honestly after making a video on Plasma Burst 2 and appreciating everything about it as a game and now a video on Intrusion I think it's time to judge and appreciate games based on what they are and and not on what engine they use I mean the, the latter you know it can be used validly but there are a lot of genuinely great flash games out there and they're mostly overlooked or disregarded as nostalgia garbage just because they're made on flash the same goes for Roblox some people say that it's just a kids game but it's so much more than that there are games like Dars the game that just quilted made videos on and many other great games that aren't even that hard to find but people will disregard them as a funny Lego game even if there's actual effort and passion so that's all for intrusion before I end this video I want to address some things so on my plus members 2 video i got a comment saying that i'm white guys i am not white look at my skin i am not white i'm not british french uh russian spanish italian amsterdam wh wh whatever the fuck you think i am i am not so here i am fighting the white allegations by saying that i am asian individual I thought it would be kind of funny at first to see people guess it completely wrong but this has gone too far. All fuckery aside, I've got more videos planned and I'll try to keep a consistent schedule this time. It might be an empty promise as usual but hopefully this time it wouldn't be. This video was supposed to be made and uploaded after the Plasma Bliss 2 video but it didn't because I was going through a very very heavy writer's block. Thankfully AVX happened and that made me gain some composure so shout out to Adriel, subscribe to Zeno, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video give a like if you did and a dislike if you did and as a great man once said <sighs>